Welcome to UK Learnings. After watch this video, please subscribe to our channel to give us your support. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get upcoming videos. Good luck for your exam. What should you do if your vehicle gets a puncture while you're driving on a motorway? A. Use the motorway telephone and call for assistance. B. Change the wheel yourself. C. Use the motorway telephone and then try to change the wheel. D. Drive along the hard shoulder to reach the next service area. The correct answer is A. Use the motorway telephone and call for assistance. Explanation. Any vehicle stop on the hard shoulder of a motorway is at risk from passing traffic. For this reason, don't attempt to make repairs to your vehicle while it's on the hard shoulder. Make your way to the nearest emergency telephone to call for assistance. Which vehicles aren't permitted to use motorways? A. Double-deck buses. B. Agricultural vehicles. C. Motorcycles over 125 cc. D. Vehicles towing trailers. The correct answer is B. Agricultural vehicles. Explanation. Some vehicles are prohibited from using the motorway. These include motorcycles under 50 cc cyclists, horse riders, agricultural vehicles and powered wheelchairs, mobility scooters. What must a learner driver have before they drive on the road for the first time? A. Valid provisional driving license. B. Driving license without any penalty points. C. Professional driving instructor with them. D. Driving test booking. The correct answer is A. Valid provisional driving license. Explanation. Before taking a learner driver out for their first driving lesson, an approved driving instructor, ADI, or accompanying driver should first check the learner's eyesight meets the legal requirements. Driving license is valid. You're driving on a motorway. What should you do if there's a red cross with flashing red lights on the gantry above your lane? A. Move to another lane and stop. B. Slow down to 50 miles per hour. C. Don't go beyond the signal in that lane. D. Leave the motorway at the next exit. The correct answer is C. Don't go beyond the signal in that lane. Explanation. The lane under a gantry signal showing a red cross with flashing red lights is closed to traffic. You shouldn't proceed past that point in that lane. Should other lanes be open? Move to a different lane and proceed with care. If red signals are shown above all lanes, then all lanes are closed. You must stop and wait for the lights to change or until you're directed to move. Your pupil is at the end of their driving test. With your pupil's permission, what does DVSA advise you to do? A. Request a personal written report. B. Request a separate debrief. C. Listen to the debrief. D. Keep out of sight to avoid distraction. The correct answer is D. Listen to the debrief. Explanation. Subject to the candidate's permission, instructors are encouraged to accompany their pupils on their driving test and also to listen to the examiner's debrief. If they haven't been present during the test, Instructors are advised to be available to listen to the examiner's debrief at the end of the test. Which color light shows before the flashing amber signal at a pelican crossing? A. Steady amber. B. Green. C. Red and amber together. D. Red. The correct answer is D. Red. Explanation. The flashing amber light allows time for pedestrians to finish crossing. If the crossing is clear and it's safe, you may drive on before the green light shows. What does the white line along the edge of the road mean? A. It shows the edge of the carriage way. B. It means no overtaking. 
C. It means no parking. D. It shows the approach to a hazard. The correct answer is A. It shows the edge of the carriage. Way. Explanation. A continuous white line is used on many roads to indicate the edge of the carriage. Way. This can be useful when visibility is restricted. The line is discontinued at junctions, laybys, and entrances and exits from private drives. What should you do if you think the driver of the vehicle in front has forgotten to cancel their right indicator? A. Stay behind and don't overtake. B. Sound your horn before overtaking. C. Flash your headlights to alert the driver. D. Overtake on the left if there's room. The correct answer is A. Stay behind and don't overtake. Explanation. Signals should be cancelled soon after use. If a driver is unsure of the location of a junction or destination, they may signal earlier than normal while looking for their turn. Don't attempt to overtake, as they may turn suddenly. You're driving at the speed limit, in the right hand lane of a dual carriage, way. A faster car is approaching from behind. What should you do if the driver wishes to overtake? A. Slow down and indicate left. B. Remain in the right hand lane. C. Feather the footbrake to warn them off. D. Move over when it's safe. The correct answer is D. Move over when it's safe. Explanation. If another driver wishes to travel faster than you, it isn't your role to try and stop them. Move to the left when it's safe and let them pass, even if they appear to be breaking the speed limit. What could you do to guard against the risk of a vehicle fire? A. Check out any strong smell of petrol. B. Always use unleaded petrol. C. Avoid driving with a full tank of petrol. D. Keep water levels above maximum. The correct answer is A. Check out any strong smell of petrol. Explanation. The fuel in your vehicle can be a dangerous fire hazard. A strong smell of petrol may indicate a fuel leak and needs investigating. Don't use a naked flame near the vehicle if you can smell fuel, and don't smoke when refueling your vehicle. You're parking on the left, facing downhill. You apply the parking brake firmly. What further safety precautions should you take? A. Turn your wheels to the right and select reverse gear. B. Keep your wheels straight and select fifth gear. C. Keep your wheels straight and select neutral. D. Turn your wheels to the left and select reverse gear. The correct answer is D. Turn your wheels to the left and select reverse gear. Explanation. Turning the wheels to the left will ensure that if the vehicle rolls forward, it will immediately contact the curb. The use of reverse gear will help by using the resistance of the engine to prevent the vehicle from rolling forwards should the parking brake fail. What does excessive wear of the central area of tread on a car tire suggest? A. The tire has been used over inflated. B. The shock absorbers are faulty. C. The tire has been used under inflated. D. The wheels are out of alignment. The correct answer is A. The tire has been used over inflated. Explanation. Over inflated tires will cause excessive wear along the center of the tread. Check your tire pressures on a regular basis, and when the tires are cold. What will increase your vehicle's fuel consumption? A. Using tires of different makes. B. Overinflated tires. C. Using tires that are new or hardly used. D. Underinflated tires. The correct answer is D. Underinflated tires. Explanation. If your tire pressures are lower than those recommended by the manufacturer, there will be increased rolling resistance. To overcome this, the engine will have to work harder, resulting in increased fuel consumption. Check your tire pressures at least once a week.
head restraints should be adjusted correctly. What injuries do they protect you from? A. Neck and spine injuries. B. Hip injuries. C. Arm and leg injuries. D. Abdominal injuries. The correct answer is A. Neck and spine injuries. Explanation. Head restraints are provided to protect against neck and spine injuries commonly referred to as whiplash, they should be correctly adjusted before the start of every journey. An incorrectly adjusted head restraint will offer reduced protection. A candidate taking their practical driving test is allowed to have someone accompany them on the test. How should this person behave during the test? A. They should calm the candidate. B. They should make notes of what's said. C. They should take no part in the test. D. They should intervene if the candidate drives dangerously. The correct answer is C. They should take no part in the test. Explanation. Anyone who accompanies a learner driver on a driving test must be at least 16 years old and must wear a seat belt. This includes a person who holds a seat belt exemption certificate. The accompanying driver mustn't take any part in the test. The examiner can end the test if they feel any inappropriate communication has taken place. Which expense is likely to increase as a result of being convicted of driving while unfit through drink or drugs? A. The vehicle tax. B. The vehicle test certificate. C. The driving license fee. D. The insurance premium. The correct answer is D. The insurance premium. Explanation. Insurance companies are likely to charge a higher premium for people who have been convicted of driving while unfit through drink or drugs. This is because they've shown that they're a risk to others on the road. What do these signs indicate? A. You're approaching a concealed level crossing. B. You're approaching a concealed depot entrance. C. You're approaching the end of a dual carriage way. D. You're approaching the end of a motorway. The correct answer is A. You're approaching a concealed level crossing. Explanation. If there's a bend or other obstruction concealing a level crossing, you won't be able to see the barriers signals or any waiting traffic countdown markers, spaced equally at about 100 yard intervals, give you an early warning that you're approaching a level crossing, so you can be prepared to stop if necessary. Who can accompany a candidate on their driving test? A. Only a family member. B. Anyone aged 16 or over. C. Only their driving instructor. D. No other person. The correct answer is B. Anyone aged 16 or over. Explanation. At the start of the practical driving test, the examiner will ask the candidate if they wish their instructor or accompanying driver to be present during the test. Anyone who does accompany the candidate must be 16 years or older and must wear a seat belt during the test. What's the national speed limit on the motorway for a car? A. 60 miles per hour. B. 30 miles per hour. C. 70 miles per hour. D. 50 miles per hour. The correct answer is C. 70 miles per hour. Explanation. The speed limit for a car on the motorway is 70 miles per hour. Drive in the left hand lane whenever possible. Only move to the right to overtake. Even if you're traveling at the national speed limit. What should you do when you've agreed a lesson plan with a pupil? A. Adapt the lesson plan if it will help the pupil to achieve their learning objectives. B. Keep strictly to the prepared plan. C. Only continue with the lesson plan if the pupil agrees. D. Use the same plan every time the same area of competence is covered in the future. The correct answer is A. Adapt the lesson plan if it will help the pupil to achieve their learning objectives. Explanation. You should agree a plan with your pupil at the start of a lesson. However, as the lesson progresses it may become clear that the plan needs to be adapted. For example, if there's a gap in the pupil's knowledge that needs to be filled before they can proceed, you should agree with your pupil how to deal with that gap, 
even if it means changing the original lesson plan. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe UK Learning's YouTube channel. Share with your friends and family. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get more videos. Your support will encourage us to make more videos. We wish you all the best for your exam.